Go on. Go on. Go on. So when we're selecting gilts, a good place to start is using the BPEX gilt selection poster. This covers all the different traits of an animal um, that you want to be selecting to optimize the breeding capacity and the, the longevity of that breeding animal. One of those uh, traits is the top line. So we're looking for a good level top line on the back of that gilt. No dipped shoulders. We don't want hunchback pigs. Um, and also we're looking at the, the, the legs and also the udder line. So again, the udder line, we're looking from the front to the back, a good long udder line with well-spaced teats. So when we're assessing body condition of these gilts, we're using the flat of the hand, putting pressure on the back, feeling for the ribs, on the shoulders, We're also assessing that top line. We're assessing that basically the line on the top of the back from the tail to the head wants to be nice and level. No dipped shoulders and no hunched backs. And again, the other line needs to be nice and long with well-spaced teats so that when she does give birth, there's good access for those piglets. What we're looking for in these gilts, a good, sound, healthy stock. Looking for a good condition score of these animals. These animals being about uh, 28 weeks old now. Look at the legs. Looking for good straight legs in the front. We don't want knuckled over uh, joints on the knees. We're looking for the feet to be flat to the floor. Claws straight ahead, no cracks in the claws, no obvious lameness, no obvious lumps on the legs, on the hocks. These gilts will have been selected when they come out of the bacon, bacon shed um, that they've got a minimum of 14 teats. This is to guarantee that even if we've got a few blind teats or they, they accidentally tread on a teat, we've got 12 good teats for the piglets. You can see this, uh, this gilt here. You know, 14 on that gilt, really well spaced uh, teeth. So again, good spacing between them is, is ideal. We'll also look at the genitalia of these uh, gilts. We're looking for a vulva that's not too small, that's got a good size, good shape, that's not inverted, and also hasn't been damaged through another pig biting it or any other sort of uh, injury. Looking at these gilts from behind, you see the shape there on the typical sort of scoring. I would score that the gilt there around about a three. Probably most, most of these gilts would, would fall into a category three. Slightly fatter that, that gilt there. But in good condition for service. Not too fat, not too thin.